A lot of times when you're working inside Houdini, attributes can start to build up on your geometry. And if you're new to Houdini, you may not necessarily know how to get rid of the attributes and keep only the ones that you're looking for. So we figured we'd take a look at how we can go about getting rid of all of the attributes on our particle sim here. This is a perfect example where we have a ton of different attributes. You can see that we have a ton of attributes here and we don't necessarily need all these. And if you're going to do something like cache this out, then it's just gonna bloat your file size and you don't necessarily want to have all of these because most of them you're not even going to use. So the simple way to get rid of all this is to just use one simple node called the clean node. And this just basically gets rid of everything. So to get our points back, we just need to uncheck this remove degenerate points and remove unused points. And that brings our points back. But once we've unchecked that, that really doesn't do anything. And if I go to our geometry spreadsheet, you see all of our attributes are still here. But once I check this remove attributes, you can see it gets rid of pretty much everything, keeps our points, but gets rid of all the unused attributes that we want. And that's because there's this little asterisk in here, and that just basically signifies that you wanna get rid of everything. It's the same for groups, and both of this works for groups and attributes, so if you wanna get rid of groups but keep uh, specific ones, then you can use this technique as well. So how do I go and just keep, let's say, the age, and maybe, I don't know, the ID and life. So if we wanted to keep those three attributes but delete everything else, we would come into this clean and then we'll just do a space followed by this little caret symbol and then we can just type in the attribute name. And once I do that with just age, they start to pop up. And we can just put a space in between each and just add whatever ones that we want do life and we have all of the attributes brought back in that we want we can do the same thing for groups if we had different groups in here it's the same sort of notation to keep the ones that you want just remember that this asterisk will get rid of everything i remove that you see that it keeps everything and actually i wonder if i put it behind yes so if i put it behind everything it just gets rid of everything in front of it so just make sure that you have it in front of everything and everything that you want to keep you have behind otherwise it's going to delete what you put in here as well so a super quick quick and simple tip that maybe plagued you as a new user that you may not uh, necessarily think about now if you're an experienced person but for new people this can definitely be a life-saving tip that is not necessarily readily out there. So hopefully this helped you out. I do have a bunch of other videos on my channel. I do a bunch on Houdini. So if you want to learn more about Houdini, make sure to check out those videos. I also have a bunch of stuff on Redshift, uh, some stuff on Cinema 4D, Clarice, and Octane as well. So if you want to learn any of that, make sure you check out those videos. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.